Kelly, the viewing is now underway for five members of the Coleman family. They were killed in a duck boat accident last week. Now, people are remembering their lives and lifting up their surviving family members. Our Anna Carrera is live at Eastern Star Church for us this morning. Good morning, Anna. Alyssa, since the last time we saw you, this parking lot behind me is really starting to fill up. A lot of people are going to be coming out here today. It's certainly going to be a very emotional day, and there was a lot of special moments yesterday as well. Something happened right after the services in the church. Hundreds of people went outside with balloons, let them go, and let them fill the sky. Attached to each of them was a picture of Glenn, Reese, Evan, and Aria with the words, let's go play daddy. And you can see the support there, and another person who spoke in yesterday's services talked about just how important that would be for Tia Coleman, Glenn's wife, and the mother of those young children. Uh, we know that the days ahead will be tough. Uh, we know that it'll be a struggle to get back to normalcy. But we pray that you'll be patient with yourself, with other people, and know that you have a support system, not only in your church family, the prosecutor's family, the congressional family, but the entire family of Hoosiers and folks from all over the country who love you and appreciate you. Now the visitation, as Alyssa mentioned, just started a few minutes ago for Irvin, Horace, Belinda, Angela, and Maxwell. That goes until noon when the funeral services will start. Of course, we will have all your coverage here on WTHR and on WTHR.com. Alyssa, we'll see you in about half an hour with another update. Thank you so much for continuing to follow this for us today. Meantime